there's a lot of things that aren't making sense about this whole Hamza Chimaev weight issue being overweight by like eight pounds and you know you have his coach you have himself you have other people saying oh well the doctor told me to stop cutting weight but why were you so overweight to begin with that's the real question like you shouldn't be eight pounds overweight the night before you know you got to weigh in it just doesn't make sense so I don't know how early on they told him he needs to stop trying to cut weight I know he was, you know, I guess throwing up, shaking, all these horrible things. I'm not, I'm not trying to say he needs to hurt himself to make weight. But I think he, if he showed up, you know, the day before a weight cut or, 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 or uh, being weighed in at like seven pounds over, eight pounds over, there's no excuse for that. There's really no excuse for that. But uh, he's got some kind of issue. I don't know when he cuts, I think lately, I don't know what kind of, after he got sick, I don't know what they, you know, gave him, injected him with, gave him to swallow. I have no clue, you know, that could play a role, possibility. But this whole thing and saying, oh, well, the doctor told him to stop. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if it's the day before, you shouldn't come in at that weight anyway so that kind of doesn't make sense I don't know I mean I could be totally off because he, he could have came way before and the doctor like could have told him to stop like but even if the doctor told him to stop trying to cut weight like a week prior two weeks prior like he could have took a day off and then tried to do it again and, and saw what happened so that, that kind of doesn't make sense to me also what doesn't make sense to me is him trying to get Nate Diaz to fight him even though he was eight pounds overweight and then he comes out and says oh Nate Diaz if you're a true gangster you fight anyway weight doesn't matter to you like okay so Nate Diaz is not a true so basically he's saying Nate Diaz is not a gangster because he doesn't want to fight him being eight coming in eight pounds overweight okay so that would also say that Hamza Chimaev is not a gangster because why is he trying so hard to 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 fight at this weight class if if he can't even make it so, so he's not a gangster either because he's trying so hard to make it at this this weight class like why don't you just go up and fight heavyweights you'd 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 be the you'd be the talk of the town you'd be you know the most popular fighter in the history of the UFC ever in the entire world if weight doesn't matter and you're a gangster why don't you fight heavyweights huh why don't you fight heavyweights like go up to the heavyweight and fight them like that's what doesn't make sense to me like why are you saying Nate should have fought you and weight doesn't matter if you're not willing if you're trying so hard to make this weight class that you can't even make, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you're basically saying you're not a gangster either. He's basically saying that. He's basically saying he's not a gangster either. Because if that were the case, he would just be like, oh, I'll just go do whatever, do whatever weight class. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? So, a lot of this doesn't make sense. I don't know. If you guys understand it, let me know. One, it's like you should have came in a lot lighter beforehand. I don't know. He could be sick from whatever they gave him. I don't know. He could have some kind of issue with his body. And if that's the case, then, then you know, that sucks. And it's unfortunate. And uh, that's not his fault, obviously. So if that's the case, then he has an issue. He has a problem. He has some kind of issue going on and it's an unfortunate situation but the whole trying to make Nate Diaz out to not be a gangster because he doesn't want to fight a person who comes in eight pounds overweight a person who's a wrestler who uses his weight to win fights like every single ounce counts every single ounce counts for Hamza Chimaev so when you're talking pounds here he that's an extreme advantage being eight pounds overweight when Nate Diaz you know had to push himself 
to get down to the weight. Like, he had to struggle. He had to go through all that pain and misery and, and uh, you know, whatever he had to do to get to the weight. So he's coming in in a weakened state. And here you have a person who's eight pounds overweight who's just like, I'm strong. I mean, you saw the way he fought uh, other dude. He just dominated him. Like, he just, it's like he didn't kill, it's like he didn't have to go through any struggle. And that's just unfair. Like, this other person has to go through all this struggle, comes in in a weakened state, and you're just like, doo -doo -doo -doo, I don't care, whatever. And you're 100%. And when ounces count, and you're actually eight pounds overweight, that's, that's such a huge difference. So, yeah, this whole Nate Diaz not being a gangster because that makes no, that makes zero sense. That makes zero sense. Like, if that's the case, then go fight heavyweight. Gangsta? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that, like, what Hamzad is claiming has any merit? That Nate Diaz, that Nate Diaz isn't a gangster because he wouldn't fight him at seven pounds overweight? Like, I think that has zero merit. I think it makes zero sense. And I think... He's basically saying he himself is not a gangster. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Peace.